Hi everyone, this is Johnny here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be unboxing something and that is this one. Yes, it's actually from Basis Bowie WM05 True Wireless Earphones. You might be thinking, ah oh man, Johnny, another Basis earbud and then another one from the Bowie series and then this time around is another one from the WM. I mean, don't we have the WM01? Don't we have the WM02? Why should we, why are you reviewing another WM series? Well, this one is a little bit different. Let me zoom in to this part. You see something special? Yes. This is probably the very first WM wireless earbuds with ANC. Oh my god! Wow! Besides that, it also has the Basis Rapid Charge technology recently introduced. They call it the BRC. It has a total 28 long hours of battery life. Let's see on the side. It has a four microphone system ENC for phone call to improve call quality. It uses Bluetooth 5.2. It has dual channel low latency at the back. Okay, gonna zoom in a little bit more to the English part, which you can see here. Battery capacity of the earbud is 35 milliamp. The charging case is 400 milliamp. It uses type C. Right, let's look at the side. Okay, this is what we have one through. And then this is actually the QR code to get the basis app. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. At the top, nothing, just a tap. Okay, let's rip it open. All right. So the earbud itself, wow, I think this is the very first pair of um, wireless earbud. Um, it doesn't come with anything. I mean, there's no plastic cover. As you can see here, there's no plastic cover. Right, let's put it aside first. Let's look what else is inside. A warranty card from Basis. And the stickers, stickers from Basis, yay. Nice, I love, always love the stickers. Right, next is the user manual. Okay, let's put this aside. Let's see what else is actually in the box. So you see here right in the middle, this is actually the charging cable. And then these two are the additional sets of silicon seal. So this is probably M, this is L size, and this is, uh, no, sorry, this is S size, and this is probably L size. This is actually USB-A to USB-C. Got one of the earbud. Oh, I like the color combination, you see that? This is like orange on the inside. It's very soft. The, the silicon seal is very soft, but, um, the it's a bit thin here you see i'm i'm usually quite worried when this flap is thin because um it usually has a direct impact on uh, noise reduction i mean passive noise cancellation the casing itself it's very glossy this is my very first experience it's super glossy it's like a mirror you can see hi hi there this is me at the bottom you see this is the USB-C charging port and the orange would actually indicate that it actually has the basis uh, rapid charge technology and here's the button, let's click on that oh, you see the light light up ah, there you go, it goes off again, so I'll press one more time there you go, light up and then you go away after 3 seconds Create at the back, there's a huge basis name here this is the hinge for the lid and nothing else right it's very thin on the side you see here pretty thin uh very oval shape uh, i think this is the first design i have from basis which looks like this it reminds me a little bit like the uh, Redmi Buds 3 Lite. Right, so I have with me here, this is actually on my right, this is actually the Redmi Buds 3 Lite. You can see here, it's very identical. Let me switch it on to the front. Very identical in shape. Uh, even the percentage of the lid, of the top and bottom, it's almost similar, right? The shape is very similar. It's just that if I were to stack both together, 
you can see very clearly that the WM05 is uh, slightly longer than the Redmi Buds 3 Lite and of course it's way shinier, almost equal in height. Uh, it's just the length is longer, right? Probably is to accommodate a larger battery. So let's come back to the WM05 and let's open up the lid. Wow, it's very pretty. It's This is like a direct copy of the Redmi Buds 3 Pro. Let me get the Redmi Buds 3 Pro. Alright, so on my right, you see here, this is the Xiaomi Redmi Buds 3 Pro, the international variant. Let me open up and then you will know exactly what I mean, you see? Like cat's eye, very shiny, it's like jewel. And it's oval in shape as well for the WM05 earbuds. Okay, so you can see here, it's extremely shiny and glossy and very, very reflective. Oh my goodness, it's like a jewel. Two pieces of jewel. And if I'm not wrong, if I'm not too sure if you can see it underneath here. You can see here. Yeah, at a certain angle, you can see a ring. Uh, I think that that should be the ring LED light, just like the WM02. So this entire glossy area, this should be the touch control area. And then you have here is the left and is the right, which makes it very easy to read. The hinge. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so something about the hinge I, 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 I realized is that when I pull it all the, it, all the way back, all right, there's a bit of resistance here, and then it pops in. See? There's this, there's this resistance here, so that the lid can stay here. It can stay here, stay here, or it can go all the way back so that it can act as a support and the lid wouldn't really just shut close itself, right? So you can even place it like this so that it will still stay open. You can put it like that. It can still stay open. All right, very nice. Let's take out the earbud, shall we? It's here, it's oval. And when you turn it on to the side, it's very tall and very thin. Thick. Let's focus just on one. This is the left side. So you can see here, these are the pogo pins. And so it says tear off. Very nice. So that people know that you need to remove this. Huge improvement by basis. Thumbs up. Remove this. So you can see the pogo pins are here. And this is actually the silicon seal, which is M size by default. And there are holes to actually let the sound out from the driver. Let's take out the silicon seal. One thing I like about ear tip is that you see here, it has a very deep groove so that if the, sil if the silicon seal are actually very tight fitting, it will actually have a very good grip on the ear tip. Oh, I thought I saw a logo there. Ah, see this logo? I'm not sure why that logo looks like a phone call. Yeah, it's like a phone call emoji icon. Nice, wow. And it's of all places they put it at. <laughs> <laughs> this place. Interesting basis. Let's put it back. Alright, so to make sure, you just need to pop up the wing and then you see it secured all around. Man, this earbud is extremely reflective and glossy. You see, you're really starting to get some dust and dirt. This dot here, you see, this is probably for the talking mic. Alright, I'm gonna wear them and see how they look like on me. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put on the earbuds. I have with me the L, right? Put it on here. This is the left side, and then this is the right side. I'll do a tail of the tab. Put it on. Alright, so this is how it looks like when I'm putting it on. On the front view, you can see here it's uh, pretty flushed. And you can hardly see the earbuds actually coming out. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it to the left. So here you can have a very good look of how the earbuds look like. So one thing you realize is that the tip here, it kind of sits into this groove here in your ear. Yeah, so it make it a little bit more secure so that uh, if you're, probably if you have some movements, it's not going to come out that easily. Now this is on the left side and I'll move it to the right. Okay, so this is how the right side looks like. Same thing, it's going into here. Okay, it's not really budging. Right. Cool. Okay, so this is how the right side looks like. Turn it back. Alright, so this is the mode look of the WM05 on the front, on the left, on the right. Just now you actually saw me showing you how the earbuds actually look like. Alright, so another thing I want to mention is that it's actually very easy to put the earbuds on and they're very comfortable. Just that few like one or two minutes wearing them, they're pretty comfortable, they are very very light. 
I don't really feel anything uh, when I was having actually having them on. Okay, so the next step is probably let's charge the earbuds up as what I've done with all earbuds and see what happens to them. Okay, so I have with me here is actually a USB-C cable. Let's plug in and see what happens. Okay, so you see a red light just now lighting up. So let me repeat again. When I plug it in, the red light will come up and then it will blink. It will start pulsing actually, not blinking, sorry. It will start pulsing. All right, this is probably to indicate that it's actually starting to charge. So as you can see here, it's not without, it's without the earbud. So let's put the earbuds back into the case. This is R, which is right. Okay, so I didn't see something happen, right? So let's take out the earbud, put them back in. So you see it turn white for a while and then go back to pulsing red. Let's put in the left. Turn white as well and then go back to pulsing red. All right, so this is what will happen when you are actually charging the case without the earbuds and then subsequently after that you put the earbuds back into the case. Okay, so let's close the lid. It will become white color as well. And then you go back to pulsing red. Okay, so this is something to take note when you're actually charging up the case. Right, so let's open up the lid again. White, and you can see here that the earbuds are lighting up. Nothing much, this is probably in pairing mode. Okay, so let's close it and let's leave the earbuds to charge for maybe about one or two hours and then we'll come back and see what happens to them when they are fully charged.